Shalom people, this is Brother Lyles coming at you with another video. And I want to do a video uh, on cryptocurrency and colored people. Because I think, you know, there's a lot of you out there that are just like me. That you, you read the news, you see the videos talking about the American dollar here real soon is probably gonna go away and that if you don't have uh, money invested in cryptocurrency that you're gonna be left out in the dark this is very problematic because when we see the narrative that has been given to us uh, you know especially when uh, the barcodes came out and the and tracking devices came out uh, it was always being preached to us when we was in the Christian church and even you know in this uh, understanding of us being Hebrews that you know uh, ultimately you know electronic currency uh, would be the, the way that uh, we would buy and sell things in the future and, and to be able to participate in that market you would have to get the mark of the beast and so most of us like myself have been trying to stick with spending cash money as much as possible even having a little slush fund of about a thousand dollars or more that you would keep in your home for emergencies thinking that if the banks fail you know uh, at least I got some cash on hand but now we're understanding that because of and and I think it was all planned but because of this war in Ukraine and what America is uh, do, trying to do with sanctions against Russia it has caused Russia to tag its ruble to its gold and where they have set it up any nation since America got sanctions on them any nation that is dealing with Russia because they have to like for oil and for wheat that they have to pay Russia in gold or rubles but in order to get the rubles you will have to pay the Russian banks in gold to get the rubles so either way the gold is going to Russia we know that America came off of the gold standard for the petrol standard uh, in the early 70s because of um, because of um, uh, Nixon. So we were kind of painted, and I'm talking about myself, into a corner where, hey, are you saying to me now that... Um, this thing, this this cryptocurrency, which we I have no doubt that it is gonna eventually turn into the mark of the beast. But just like every other thing, the dollar bill, the credit cards, and everything, it still was a a way for them to to track us and really even to keep you out of the uh, system if they really wanted to. What we had to understand is that we need to know when to get out <laughs> you understand we would not have to know when do we get out of the system once we understand that um uh this getting ready to turn to a regulatory thing where in order to stay in it you have to have the mark so now a lot of us like myself are having to try to make the the switch very quick to try to understand this crypto currency and these different things that actually they said it started on the dark web and it was started you know i guess in a lot of ways to do illegal transactions on the dark web but it gained some kind of traction with you know gamers and other people that you know exclusively dealt with stuff on the internet where they could i guess it was a uh, i guess we would say a internet kind of bargaining uh system or something where they created these 
these coins or these different things and so it's you know I've, I've seen a se several videos I would say this to you just like with anything money credit cards debit cards or whatever we're in this world but we're not of this world so what we gonna have to do we are gonna really have to depend on the Holy Spirit and everything we do because in great transitions like this that the world is getting ready to go into there's gonna be a lot of manipulation there's gonna be a lot of um, uh, un misunderstanding there's gonna be a lot of uh, people that's gonna take advantage of people that uh, like myself are not really you know keyed into the internet commerce like that because when you look at the the uh, thing with Amazon, you look at the thing with eBay and all these other ways that you can make money online and you you be saying in your mind, man, why come I can't grasp this concept and be multi-millionaires like these people that say, it's so easy to make hundreds of thousands of dollars every month on Amazon and you don't have to do anything. You kind of feel left out and so now it's like with this cryptocurrency thing it's like you know uh balls to the walls if you don't do something now you're gonna be left out but you're never alone you're never left out because the most high i believe just like with if any uh, uh, other things he will always have a a a ram in the bush at one time there was no no uh, coinage in the sense of printed money. These concepts came about uh, in in Greece, in in Athens. It's a, a good book that I was uh, listening to several years ago. It was an audio book called The Babylonian Woe, and it talked about how the system of a coinage and all these things started and at one time it was hard for people to believe that hey okay I'm gonna leave my gold in this bank and they're gonna give me this dollar these these pieces of paper these writs that say when I go to another bank and I show them this writ I show them this bill that says here I, I have a uh, I have 20 gold bars in this bank back in this place this note right here tells you that I have those bars. So in effect, this note that I have in here is the 20 gold bars that I have. It took people a while to get there because what people actually used to do back in those days is they used to wear their currency on them. They have it in their earrings. They have it in their rings. Um, they, they would have you know little different little gold bars of different weights and sizes that's why it talked about the the unjust balance in in, 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 the, in the bible because what they would have to do they would weigh out they would say okay i charge you this much weight in gold or whatever and then of course uh when our people got in the land they start dealing with shekels and, 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 and different things like that or whatever but it's still the fact that when paper money came along it, it took people a while to get that and so you can imagine those that knew the bible might have thought at that time okay this thing that they're talking about uh the mark of the, the beast it's this dollar bill here because look at all these markings it's got on it so we we have to kind of take the approach with the cryptocurrency the same way that any type of coinage or any type of bill or anything any credit card anything can be used at any time for the uh antichrist system not just when they make it mandatory for you to get the mark of the beast but anytime you know throughout history that they 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 have you know even like right now where if you say different things and you have different viewpoints the United States government can come in and freeze your account and not allow you to even pull your own money out but we have to do what I have to do is 
you know we we have to know how to get in there and 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 do business while it is day light remember yeshua's analogy where he talked about him giving the different amounts of talents of gold to these different individuals and how you know some hit it some invested it and got a return or whatever and so they you know uh we're dealing in an unjust system in the sense of it's, it was it's not controlled in a sense by yah you understand what i'm saying yah is in control of everything in the sense of he can stop it when he want but the running of it could, could you know the devil is in the details but yet he said get in there put my gold in the market get interest off of it with, with, with usury and then when i come you can give me a return so he basically saying we in the system that we're in because he said there he said i pray yeshua said i pray not that you would take them out of the world but that you would preserve them i and everyone like me we're gonna have to try to get some understanding of this cryptocurrency thing until the system turns around and says okay in order for you to continue to uh, uh participate in this you're gonna have to get this this id and with this id you're gonna have to have certain kinds of ideologies or, or whatever you can you can already see it with this lgbtq thing and and, and different viewpoints like you having on the, the war in ukraine and, and russia that if you don't hold certain viewpoints if you don't you know uh agree to the disclaimer to get on this then we're gonna freeze you out of the system see it's gonna be a choice thing right it's not gonna be a forced thing it's gonna be a choice thing but until they do that just like it is with this mandate for the the uh the the vaccine you stay in as long as you can but when you see that you know they you know blocking your interest to your your job and they got some some nurse on the other side of the door that says hey if you want to get get back in this company if you want to get back in your locker if you want to get back to work that that nurse on the other side of that door is going to give you uh this vaccine and your booster and then you'll be okay you see and when it gets to that that's when you say okay well then i'm gonna walk away but never never ever let them just push you out without you giving up some kind of resistance the bible said resist the devil and he'll flee from you and so it's the same thing with this cryptocurrency we got to get in we got to you know i you know test the waters i myself this is just my plan I plan on probably at this time I, I won't invest more than a, a thousand in there just to see get get some my foot in the system and that way if something happens drastically right I at least I have that but if, if if the dollar continues to roll on down the line for a, 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 little, a little bit longer as I um, you know put my my stake into this cryptocurrency not so much because you know I'm, I'm thinking that i'm gonna you know go in and become very rich i'm just trying to preserve what i had because i know that ultimately when all the things crash when things really start going haywire and, and y'all just start pouring out his bold judgments and everything all the systems are going to crash because again i have to remind myself and i have to remind those that watch my videos that ultimately the devil is uh reacting to what yah is gonna do yah wants to crash all these world systems so that when yeshua comes in you know he's gonna rule with a rod iron it's gonna be it's not gonna be none of this unjust stuff it's not going to be so you know whether y'all is starting to let them do the the the, the groundwork of tearing it down however you want to say it, it's going to get done 
because these this these systems that they have is totally unjust with this credit and this interest and all this other kind of compounding interest or whatever that has gone astronomically out of control and has made debtor nations out of people that just wanted to you know borrow some money to fund some projects and and they and and and, and they and different things was caused to happen and now these nations some of these nations uh will never get out of some of the debt right even the united states is is been it's been a, a debtor nation even before they put up that debt calculator that they shows that all have been running you know from the very first time that the uh washington and all of them borrowed the money from the uh ish bankers in savannah and in charleston to fight against the same british that these ish bankers were also lending money to that you know even or, or even before that with when athens and Greece and all those came up with these concepts and the Knights Templars came up with these banking system that help people get to the uh, uh, Holy Land and back that it's been invisible and astronomical amounts of phony debt that have been created that now has reached unto the heavens and it's gonna ca cause the whole thing to collapse just like with the laws that they have implemented to implement evil has been running and compounding themselves so much and now they're they're reaching up into the heaven and then getting ready to topple down but until they do topple down the most high is saying still engage in this system but don't let the system corrupt you now we know that in this system of America, we were thrust into this system through slavery, right? Some of us, because we know some, some did come here, but for the majority part of us that are here, we were our ancestors were thrust into the system because we were the currency. We were a type of currency. You understand? And so what we have to do we have to be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove we you know and like i said did understand that yes the most high is going to take care of us to sin but he wants us to engage as much as possible in this, this system he said fight the good fight of fate you know and that that means we don't we don't sit down and we wait for the dollar to collapse and then most high to uh, send a raven with some bread and flesh every day like he did Elijah. No, we got to at one at, at a certain time. Yah stop the raven from bringing the um, bread and flesh to Elijah and the river Chibard where he was at dried up. And what did he do? He said, go stay with the widow woman in Zarephath. Go stay with the hermetic. The woman that was a Canaanite, she was not. A, she was not an Israelite. She was a Canaanite. But if he had gone with his first inclination that these people are of an unclean nation, he would have starved to death. He said, "No, go engage this widow woman of Zarephath, which is another nation, and inquire of her because she is gonna feed you, and in and in her feeding you." She's going to also feed her and her son who are about to die of hunger. So it's the same way. It's people that, are, you know, are, are not, you know, Hebrew. And it's some people that are Hebrew, but they're not believers that we're going to have to engage in this system in order for us to survive. But we, we, we do it with prayer. We do it by being led by the Spirit. And Yah will take care of us. So I would encourage you. Don't be fearful that if you get a little bit of crypto that you're receiving the mark of the beast. You're just engaging in this world system while we're here. And, and, and be prayerful and be led by the Holy Spirit. And know when it's time to get out because you see it's going in a certain way. But until then, we're going to have to because this 
this, this all this stuff has been planned to crash and eventually what they plan to do because what's going to happen is y'all is going to so damage their world economy that they're going to have to implement the mark of the beast in order to conserve resources and all these other things to fight back against y'all which eventually like i said he's going to crash the whole thing down so that when yeshua come back he's going to implement things the way they were supposed to be there will i believe there will be a currency system i believe that there's going to be uh different things like that it's obvious because the bible said that from beyond the rivers of ethiopia shall my supplicants bring me an offering to where to jerusalem to do what to uh do to, uh, to pay those restitutions and different things that are owed to our people and also to build to pay workers to rebuild because that's why i believe that what we call the middle east is that land i believe that yah is going to supernaturally turn it into a garden of eden again because he said as long as we was out of the land the land would be burned and that area is very barren it's got a lot of resources underneath but on the top it's very barren but y'all when yeshua come back he's gonna revive it all but man shall be doing trade those that are still in their natural bodies uh, if you die and you and, and 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 you go be in glory when you come back you'll have your resurrected body you won't have no need for money but it is going to be some people that are going to go into the kingdom as human beings so they're going to uh, uh um, be dealing with coinage and different things like that but it's going to be the most high system it's going to be ran the right way it's not going to be no bounce checks it's not going to be no credit card scams it's not going to be no nigerian scam it's all going to be on the up and up but until then we have to deal with this system so with that i would encourage you to just be prayerful if you're not born again you need to be born again you need to be filled with the most high spirit so that you will not be led into deception because what he said pray that you don't be deceived not just spiritually but also financially that you will not be deceived i had a family member real close family member that was uh caught up in a nigerian internet scheme several years ago that lost uh seven thousand dollars so this is why i said we can't just pull back because things like that happen we just have to be wise and ask the holy spirit to be our god and with that i tell you to uh, uh leave a comment on this video to subscribe and hit the like button be blessed